Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to use the Rotato chip. I just released it a little while ago. It supports up to 10 guns and makes them rotate, you know, like a rotary autocannon and all that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually use it because it does have a setup. If you notice, if you look inside here, it does show you the instructions, gives you all the notes and tells you how to do it, but, you know, sometimes it's a little easier just to see somebody do it. Alright. So this is an urban mech here. I'm going to give it a rotary light burst PPC with uh, three light burst PPCs here. So what you got to do is you get the uh, base prop for the arm here or whatever you're using to aim the uh, arm and then that will be the stable base on the chip. So let's get the chip out here. The chip it can be put anywhere. I'm just going to put it onto the torso because that's the uh, where I have every other E2. You don't have to angle it in any way or whatever. Alright, so when you wire it up, you wire the fire button to whatever you want the fire key to be. And after that, you get the base and stable base. Base is what actually rotates, and stable base is what the aimer is, so that might be a little confusing, so that's why I'm making this video here. So, stable base is this piece here that's the aimer. Alright, so we're going to need a rotator base here, so I'll use another one of these here and move it to the uh, to be in front of the stable base here. I'll just use mass center on that, and then the hit position of the back here so it's in front so we can see it. Oh, we can't really see it because this is in the way, but we can see it right here. So as you can see, this piece here is in front of the main aimer. You're going to need to put a gate on this because you need to parent guns to it later. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. Make sure you don't actually hit the aimer gun if you do have them overlapping here. Make sure you are hitting the proper uh, gun here. I still don't know if I actually got it right, but uh, because of that I'm going to use a fading door on this to make sure of it. So if you need to make sure, just do fading door here, set it up, and then you can fade that out, which will make putting gates and being precise a lot easier, which you'll need to be precise with this thing. Alright, so we got the gate on there, we just need to angle the guns. We have three of them here, so what you got to do is you just do uh, 360, which is the degrees in a circle, and divide that by the number of guns, which is three here. So, first one, its rotation for the roll is going to be zero. Next one is going to be 120, and the one after that is 240, but you can only go to 180 on this, so it would be negative 120. Now this does require some knowledge of angles here. So as you can see, it would make a uh, you know triangle sort of shape. So this one here is actually going to be on the bottom here because with the rotato chip you can only have one gun at the lowest mount. So the there'll have to be one that's the lowest. Alright, so after you get that done here, just move it all into place. Just do mass center here, and then mass center of each of the guns to that point in particular. Now as you can see see they're just overlapping all over the place here so you do have to move them to where they need to go so with the precision tool I'm just going to push them down by 50 that'll move them down about 50 percent of their size here and there we go except for it's not really lined up too well because of the model of this gun in particular and where I hit it right there so I gotta hit it right back there actually over here Oops. Ah, I'm missing it okay so let's just uh, do that there and then line do okay now all of them are in line and set up like they should be Okay, now I just parent these guns here to the uh, base ship here, well, to its gate, but as you can see they're blocking it completely. So I'm going to need to fading door on those also. Eh, 
and there we go. I just parent it to the gate on this piece here, and there's that done. Alright, you do need to put a axis center constraint here to the main gun. So that is to the rotator prop, to the aimer prop. Alright, now that the uh, setup's pretty much done here, you're going to want to make sure you no collide the uh, rotator here so that it doesn't collide with the main prop, because that will usually just break it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we do some more wiring. You have to wire the base input to the rotator. Make sure you get it right here because you don't want to mess up and hit the back one because that will usually just cause it to not work. Alright, now we just wire the guns. Gun 1 will be the bottom gun here, and then fire on the bottom gun will be set to fire one. Now gun two you can pick either of the guns in any direction. I'm just going to pick this one and then fire two also has to be that one. And the last gun is gun three. Fire, set the fire button to uh, one three on that one and this is pretty much done. Now you just go into the chip. Well make sure you know how fast the rate of fire on this gun is first. This gun has a cooldown of 0.5. If you're using a laser, like uh, the medium pulse laser, well, let me get it different. If you're using the small pulse laser, for example, you'd have to calculate the duration plus the cooldown. So on this one, it'd be 0.2. Actually, no, that's 0.875. Sorry. All right. So anyway, on this one we have a cooldown of 0.5 on the light burst PPC and we have three guns. So we just enter that in up here. That's the only thing you have to change in the entire chip. And then you just press upload and exit. And now that's done. Last, you just have to link the guns up to the engine like you do with any other gun. And then we just copy it. You can save it here. And then we paste the new copy here, see if it works. You have to unfreeze it so that it can rotate around. And here we go. As you can see, it's working pretty well. It runs pretty hot but that's a pretty high rate of fire. If you look out the window there, you'll see them rotating around. So yeah, let's get the camera here. Point that at it. Numpad input. Right now I'm just showing you how it will look when you're firing from the outside. All you have to do is wire fire. And here we go. Alright, everybody, that's it. And uh, have a good time working with your rotary auto cannons or whatever you really want to make. Let's see if you can make some rotary rotary auto cannons or some crazy stuff. Looking forward to seeing all the new inventions. And uh, good luck, everybody. Bye.